Hi friends, I am Shohum Bera, Senior Consultant Optometrist. Today I am going to share with you a new eye disease and this is also a conjunctival one and the disease name is Pterygium. A Pterygium is a pinkish triangular tissue growth on the cornea of the eye. It typically starts on the cornea near the nose and it also may can start from the temporal side. It may slow grow, grow but rarely grows so large that the pupil is covered. Often it is unicular, often it is binocular. The cause of pterygium is idiopathic or unclear nowadays also. It appears to be partly related to the long term exposure of UV light means sun rays and dust, winds, dusty weather. Genetics also may be a factor of this pterygia. This is a benign growth. Prevention may include wearing sunglasses and a hat if in an area where the sunlight is very strong. Among those with the condition and eye lubricating, lubrication or tear substitute drops can help them to systematically relief. Surgical removal is typical only recommended if the vision is affected and it may recover also. The frequency of this condition varies from 1% to 33% of various region in the world. It occurs more commonly among the male than female and in people who live in the equator or dusty weather or windy weather. The condition become more common with old age. Now come to the sign and symptoms. Symptoms of pterygium include persistence of redness, inflammation, foreign body sensation, tearing, dry eye and itchy eye. In adverse cases, the pterygium can affect your vision and invades the cornea with the potential of obscuring the optical center of the cornea, which we call pupil. That we call pupil, inducing an astigmatism. We call it irregular astigmatism because astigmatism due to pterygium and corneal scar. Many patients do complain of the cosmetic appearance of the eye either with some of the symptoms above or as the major the cause. The exact cause is ex seriously unknown, but is associated with exposure to wind, sunlight or sand. Therefore, it is more likely to occur population that inhibit the, these areas in the equator. As well as windy location in addition to pterygia are twice as likely to occur men and the women. Diagnosis. Pterygium can be diagnosed without need of specific or any examination. It is visible from the outside. However, corneal tropography uh, is practical test as the condition is if the condition is over. prevention. As it is associated with excessive sun rays or UV radiation or wind exposure, protective sunglasses with side shield or white brimmed hat can be used. Artificial tears or lubricating eye drop through the day may help prevent their formation or stop further growth. Sufferer and other water sport athletes should wear eye protection that blocks 100% UV rays from the water, as is often used by snow sports athletes also. Many of those who are at the greatest risk of pterygium from work or play, sun exposure, do not understand the importance of protection. <clears throat> now the treatment part. Pterygium typically do not need any surgery unless it grows to such extent that it causes you a visual disturbance. Some of the symptoms such as irritation can be addressed with artificial tear. Surgery may be also considered by 
unmanageable symptoms like when the pterygium is go to your pupil and if the pterygium can go over the pupil it can cause you can it can disturb your your vision therefore then the surgery is needed and surgery is that at that time very compulsory now the, if the what is the treatment it better to go for any eye specialist if any type of symptoms or sign you have seen in your eyes on your relatives eye, go for an eye checkup and your eye specialist will tell you which what is better for you thank you friends stay safe stay healthy